Hi, Year 11 Biology. In this video, I will show you a simple demonstration of exocytosis using the model from part one of this video. So if you haven't already, watch part one to understand endocytosis, and this video will go through exocytosis. Now, exocytosis is the opposite of endocytosis. This involves the exiting out of a cell. So exiting, so removing something out or something moving out. It's easy to remember because of the word or the letters X, exocytosis, meaning exit or leaving. All right, so we are again faced with the same problem. We have a large substance that this time doesn't want to get in, so it's not coming in. This time we have a large substance that needs to come out. Now it can't do this through simple diffusion because it is much too large. Imagine if this was a, a, a toxic protein or a toxic substance that needs to get out very quickly. How does the this, this cell do this? Now, similarly, what happens is if a cell wants to perform exocytosis, it forms a vesicle around that substance, just like that. So it secures a substance in a vesicle or a place of storage. Now, what happens is this vesicle actually moves towards the cell membrane. So it's moving, it's moving towards the cell membrane, just like that. As it's moving towards the cell membrane, it actually fuses to the cell membrane, just like so. So this vesicle has now just fused or attached to or combined to the cell membrane. Now this again wants to come out, but we still have a bit of cell membrane here to get past. How do you think this will get out? Now, of course, what happens is the cell membrane is very flexible and it can easily change its shape and it does this. And then the substance or the molecule that is very large can easily get out of the cell. And that is the process of exocytosis. Now, what happens to this part? Either what the cell does is it dissolves the light, so the vesicle again, but that's not the case. Sometimes, again, remember the cell membrane is very flexible. So what happens is it just reattaches like so. I hope this video helped you visualize exocytosis and endocytosis. If you have any comments, ladies, please post it up on Google Classroom.